We'll start by downloading Equalizer APO and the piece interface because by default Equalizer APO is a parametric EQ and the piece interface or as it's also known as the piece equalizer is a graphical front end that makes it a lot easier to use. Then we'll install both programs. I'll let them install to their default locations because the important part is the equalizer APO device selector. This is asking which physical device on your computer do you want the equalizer to work with. As you can see in my list of options, I'm choosing the JDS Labs headphone amp, uh, but there are several other options here from onboard audio to voice meter virtual audio cables and any other audio device you might have hooked up to your PC. Next we'll install Peace and this applies a graphical front end to Equalizer APO. Just go ahead and hit install. Follow the prompts, just say yes, uh, shouldn't take very long. And then from there you can just select start piece. And I select the full interface when, uh, when prompted. And here we are, Equalizer APO. Pretty simple, easy to use. This is where uh, I provide all the EQ for all the games. Um, whether it's, you know, footsteps, uh, positional audio cues, all that type of stuff. This is where I do all the EQ work. And this allows me to create EQ profiles on a per game basis that I can easily enable or disable, you know, before a game. And then after a game when I want to, you know, listen to music or watch a movie. All right, next we'll download Loudmax, which is a VSD plugin that acts like a brick wall limiter, meaning... You set a peak value for how loud something can get, right? I.e. gunshots or explosions. And then you add a little bit of makeup volume and you're done. For Windows, you need to select the VST2 plugin for Equalizer APO. As, for whatever reason, VST3 plugins aren't supported. After you download Loudmax, extract the two DLLs to the VST plugins folder within Equalizer APO. Next, you'll want to find the program called Editor within the Equalizer APO folder. And what you're seeing is actually the default Equalizer APO interface. Typically from here you would handle your parametric EQ and then the benefit or the effect of it would pop up on the bottom graph. But today, we're going to use this to enable our VST plugin. And to briefly explain how Loudmax works, the, the two bars, one on top and bottom, are threshold and output sliders, meaning the top bar is gain reduction, or where the limiting begins, and the output slider sets the final volume level. So for gaming, when I make a video about EQ, I tend to make these two values linked, meaning if I pull down three on threshold, I'm going to add back three with the output slider. Also, once you have everything configured, you don't need to keep the editor window up alongside the piece equalizer. Uh, technically, they're two parts of the same program. So long as Loudmax is enabled, uh, it will technically be on every time you turn on piece. Links are in the description. Subscribe for future updates, and thanks for watching.